What up, folks? Hey, it is day 12, I think. Day 12. No meat, no animal products, no cheese, milk, none of that. It's just been vegetables. It's basically just been G-bombs, as my man Dr. Furman would say, G-bomb. Like a bomb that explodes, that's the, that's the acronym. G for greens, B for berries, O for onions, M for mushroom, B for... What's the next B? Berries and S for seeds. That's what we eat every day. Make sure you eat that every day and you will have no doctor appointments. Now, I'm just saying. But I'm about to do two of the G-bombs right here. You see, I got my beans and onions right here. About to get, about to get it. About to do it. And I uh, had a doctor's appointment yesterday for my, um, my life insurance. My life insurance... Um, about to get a policy so I had to do a doctor's exam exam went well and uh, lost 10 pounds so I'm down to 198 remember when I started I was 208 so I'm down to 198 that was good my pressure was kind of high though the uh, the second one not the first one I think the first one was okay the diastolic what is it systolic diastolic um, he told me to keep an eye on that and I know that as I continue to lose weight that number will improve as well and uh, I just wanted to encourage everybody out there, you can eat healthy. Um, you know, I had a conversation with my sister uh, this morning. She was telling me one thing that she does is, you know, though she still eats meat, but she says, for instance, like with a hamburger, she cut it into fourths, cut it into fourths, and she'll eat one fourth of that burger today, and she'll just spread it out. She basically eats a fourth of the burger every day. And see, that's, that's one of the things you got to do. I even remember years ago, our son Curtis, he did something like that. He was like... You know, this is when we were having conversations about calories. And I was just like, guys, look at the calories that you're eating. They were kids. And, you know, they took it and ran with it. And so I remember, you know, what he did was he uh, he would take the portion of food that he would eat a day and cut that in half. And he would eat half of that portion one day, half the next. He even took it to another level and one time i think um we were on a fast he would eat like half one day nothing the next day and then half you know the day after that you know just to take control and i mean there's there's many ways you can just take control you know you don't have to take what these people tell you and when i say these people i'm talking about like the fda and others who are saying hey you know this is your um this is your portion for the day. You know, this many calories, this many this, this many that. You read your labels and you see what's in there. You read your labels and see how much sugar is in that soda, how much sugar is in that pie, you know. And you say, hey, man, I, I don't, I'm not going to put all of that in my body. Take control. It's your life. Um, nobody can tell you what to eat and nobody can tell you how much to eat. So like I said, it's your life. Take control of your life. All right. Y'all have a good one. Talk to you later.